uh, in Texas. There's a lot happening in Texas tonight. This is a very, this is a fascinating story about a, a transgender boy um, who was wrestling in the girls category because in Texas, you have to wrestle in the category based on your birth certificate, the gender identified on your birth certificate. And so you have a trans, transgender boy fighting uh wrestling rather girls and she's he rather is poised to win the uh state championship um Uh, so uh, his name is Mac Beggs. Uh, he's a junior at Trinity School in uh, Ulysses, Texas. Um, and he, uh, he was born a girl and he's uh, transitioning to male. Um, and d despite the fact that he identifies as a boy, the league will not allow him to wrestle against boys. The league is only allowing him to wrestle against girls. This is an interesting story because it's showing the hypocrisy of all of these anti uh, transgender bathroom laws that are sweeping the nation because here your laws are requiring, requiring this boy to wrestle against girls, but you won't let him use the restroom with boys. And yet you're going, you're going to complain. And let me put, let me, let me, let me put a disclaimer here, right? If I accidentally misgender uh, Mac in this conversation, it is absolutely not on purpose. Charge it to my head and not my heart. I'm doing the best I can. All right. So I'm just putting that there because I don't want to be insensitive to the possibility that I probably have already, but it shows you the hypocrisy of the of places like Texas who are going to force uh, Mac to wrestle girls, but won't allow him to use the restroom with, but then they're going to turn around and complain and say, oh, well, he shouldn't be wrestling with girls anyway. Well, if you change your laws, if you actually, I don't even want to use the phrase catch up, but if you actually stop being bigoted and make and take into consideration everything that's happening in this story and stories across the country, then he would not have to wrestle girls, would he? But, you know, they're more interested in, in worrying about, eh, anyway, I don't have to, you, you know all the, you know all of the cliches around this type of story, uh, but this is just a fascinating one that is showing, showing the hypocrisy of the state of Texas and many states like it.